So now I'm going to show you how to thread the Imagine Baby Lock searcher. What you're going to want to do is start off with your thread by placing them on the spool pins here. And you can use three to four threads. For our example, we're going to use three, which I most commonly choose to use. The first step is to position the threads. We're going to start always from right to left through the thread guide up here. Then you're going to place it through this notch back here and let it hang down. I'm going to repeat that for all three threads, making sure the threads aren't tangled and that they're placed through the thread guides from right to left. Now that I have my thread in position from the top of the serger, it's time to open the machine up and continue threading. So one thing I want you to notice is this area right here is open currently. That's how it needs to be when you sew. However, when you're not sewing, you, and when you're trying to thread the serger, you want to create a tunnel here. And what you do is you push this button and turn the handrail over here towards you. Sometimes it takes a couple turns and then these tunnels will lock into place. So, that is a very important step. And what we're going to do is start with the right hand or lower looper. There's an L for lower. And it's going to, we want to thread this right here, the lower looper. So I slide this to L. I cut my thread to be um, not fraying and sharp. And then I'm going to very carefully and very delicately push the thread into this opening just a little bit and making sure nothing is restricting it. And then I push this air pump and next step, I wanna create a little more slack for, the, for it to thread further and I push the air pump again. So then you can see I've threaded the lower looper. After I've gotten my thread through the lower looper, I want to go over the blade, if it's up, which is right here, and slide my thread under the presser foot. So I have to lift the presser foot to get it behind it, and that's the first thread. Now I'm going to move my slide bar to the upper looper, or the left, and I want the thread to now come out of this one, the upper looper. So again, cut your thread if you need to, so it's a nice crisp edge, and just get it started, leaving slack. This is important because this air pump, while it's really handy, it's not very strong. So if there's not enough wiggle room, it's not going to move the thread. And sometimes it takes a couple different um, pumps, so I just keep loosening it, and I'm waiting for thread to come out here. And there it is again over the blade if i slide under it it might cut the thread so i want to go over it and just back towards the back okay so that's both loopers at this point i can slide this back and you can actually see there's thread coming through the tunnel was just to thread the machine so the next step is to thread the needle and this kind of mimics a normal sewing machine so you're going to go down through this hook, slide over. That was an old thread from before, so make sure all the previous threads of different colors are out of the machine. So I'll start over. Down through this hook, over, up, just like you would a normal sewing machine, like through a take-up lever, through this thread guide here. Again, I like to cut my thread so it's nice and crisp and then through the needle. Once you've gotten the thread through the needle, you want to, again, position it so it's towards the back. So now I have three threads towards the back. 
I'm going to lower my presser foot. It always stays in the down position and close my compartment. Again, making sure that I've opened these tunnels. Finally, I need to edit my settings to make sure they're in the setting I would like to surge in. So I'm going to do the most common um, for our purposes is a three thread wide overlock stitch. So I'm going to make sure this is on N for that's the tension. I'm going to change the width to 7.5, nice and wide. And then the length is between two and three. I remember that the width is smaller um, because we are smaller wide than we are tall. Kind of a funny way to remember, but it helps me keep them in order because they do both have the same numbers or similar numbers and it can get confusing. So now we're ready to surge. So what I wanna do is just give it a test run, make sure that it's creating the surge stitches. So my presser foot is down. And right now you can see it is not creating stitches. So I need to double check what isn't working. So I open the machine up and I can see that there's thread coming out of the upper looper still and the lower looper, but there's no thread coming through the needle. So this tells me I need to re-thread the third thread, the needle. And if you notice the thread isn't coming through here or here, that would mean you need to re-thread that one. So now I'm ready to surge. I just wanna give it a test run and make sure that it is creating this stitch. Everything looks good. And now it's time to surge my fabric.